For the last few months, no one could stop me from being excited for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Not even those French snobs at Con, or my buddy Mason telling me it probably wouldn't be that good. Leading up, I rewatched the original trilogy for the first time since middle school, and they were just as exciting and fun as I remember. Didn't quite have time to make it to Crystal Skull. So, did Harrison Ford's big final outing recapture that magic? Uh, well in my opinion, no. I really do hate to say it, but there was nothing in this film that really moved me. Well, I can't say nothing. There were a couple of good moments. For starters, the start. The opening scene is just a classic Indiana Jones adventure. This scene actually did a good job of capturing the spirit of the originals, which is impressive considering the de-aging effects that hold up nicely for the most part. But every now and then the CG does poke through, and it's really hard not to notice Harrison Ford's old man physicality, and definitely his old man voice. Which is an example of the biggest hurdle this movie faced from the very beginning, Harrison Ford's age. It was just a very difficult thing to ask a man in his late 70s to recapture the same level of action and adventure that cemented him in legend when he was in his 30s and 40s. He's just no longer capable of carrying an adventure film on his own. It ends up just being kind of sad to watch, and not in a good way. Well, except for this one scene that was trying to be sad, that explains what happened to his wife and son between films. And yeah, it was another moment that moved me a bit. Other than that, it's more just watching Harrison Ford struggle. And I think that's because there are a few places where he needs support that he's not getting. The first is the writing and choreography of the action sequences. It just never feels like we're getting anywhere with them. It's just the MacGuffin changing hands over and over. The second is his supporting cast. Indiana Jones' dynamic with his villains, and especially his companions, have always been a huge part of what makes the films enjoyable to watch. This villain is serviceable, but the companions are mostly pretty dull. Except for his goddaughter, who I found really annoying. Her main trait is being money grubby. And I guess she's kind of conniving too? I didn't really feel her connection with Indy, so when they try to give the two of them an emotional moment, it didn't feel earned. The last thing that needed to be better was the treasure hunt itself. In the old films, it's fun seeing them piece together clues to get what they're after. I don't exactly know why, but here there was no point where I felt any more than mildly invested. However, where it all builds up to at the climax was pretty cool to see, and the effect it has on Indy was perfect and so cool to witness for his character. This, and a very touching ending that I won't give away, were the last two moments that really moved me. Well, those were just my thoughts after watching this movie. What'd y'all think? Agree? Disagree? Think I'm stupid? Let me know in the comments, and let me know what you thought of this film. As for me, I say, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny? More like Indiana Jones and the Dial of Midstiny. I just couldn't get excited for this.